Hey, what's going on guys? Team Rocket Joey back with another video. Yes, sir! So today we're going to be going over my top five most expensive cards that I have in my collection. Let's get it! Before we get into the video, make sure you guys drop a comment, like, subscribe, comment down below what you think my top five is going to be. If you got crazier cards, let me know in the comment section down below. Yes, sir. Tune in. Team Rocket Joey back at it again. Starting off at number five, we have Ring Galarian Moltres V. Yes, sir. And this card is from Chilling Rain. It is an alternate art card, as you can tell. This is the only non VMAX alternate art card that is in this top five collection. And yeah, so. This fool is from Sword and Shield, the Galar region. Yes, sir. Super duper terrific Galar region Moltres V. I believe this was in like uh, one of the DLCs. Here it is here. And this fool is coming in at $130. Shit! Number four most expensive card in my collection is Blaziken VMAX alternate art from the Sword and Shield era as well. And this is also from Chilling Rain. Sheesh. This card is coming in at, hold on, $167. Dang. Wow. $167. Blaziken VMAX. Yes, sir. VMAX. So VMAX was also from uh, Sword and Shield. It was a little, uh, whatever you call it, a little, uh, tss, 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 tss. A little gimmick they had in there. You VMAX, you Dynamax the Pokemon in the battle, and then they become bow, 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 a giant. Yes, sir. You see the little Inteleon minifigure in there? Seen him? Got him. Spot him? Got him. $167. If you want the Blaziken VMAX alternate art, from Chilling Rain, yes sir. All right guys, number three on the list. Can you guess it? Mm, I think I know what it is. Gengar VMAX, yes sir. From Fusion Strike, yes sir. Another alternate art. Look at the artwork on that bad boy. That thing going crazy, yes sir. This boy is coming in at $213. If you want to purchase a Gengar VMAX right now today, it's going to cost you $213. Yes, sir. Prepare for trouble. Make it double. To protect the world from devastation. To unite all peoples within our nation. To denounce the evils of truth and love. To extend our reach to the stars above. Jesse! James. Team Rocket, blast off at the speed of light. Surrender now or prepare to fight. Me, yeah, that's right. Before we get into the final two cards, I want to give a big shout out to Team Rocket for always sponsoring Team Rocket Joey. Yes, sir. So there is kind of a general theme to this top five. Um, if you can't tell, it's all been alternate art cards from the Sword and Shield era. Low key must go to the air out. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Better than base set, better than fossil, better than Aquapolis, better than all of them things that you guys think are number one. Sword and Shield, top spot, yes sir. And number two coming in. Boom, boom, boom. Rayquaza V Max alternate art, yes sir. Look at that. You're gonna tell me a base set Charizard is looking more clean than this card right here? No, sir. No, you're not. I guarantee you it's not. Look at that bad boy. Nah, they snapped on the artwork. Yes, sir. And this is coming in at $247 if you wanted to buy. Whoa. The Rayquaza VMAX alternate art today. Live in the market. Yes, sir. Good luck, because booster boxes are over $400 now. Not going to pull one, no, sir. Got to buy one. Secondary market, yes, sir. And it's finally time for the number one spot. Can you guess what it is? I bet you can. Dun, dun, dun. Leave a comment down below right now if you can guess what 
is my number one most expensive Pokemon card in my collection. Three, two, one. <gasps> Umbreon VMAX Alternate Art. Yes, sir. Doom, doom, doom. Some may say this is the Holy Grail of the Sword and Shield era. And I would have to agree. Yes, sir. Coming in at $535. For this card, you will never, ever be able to buy this for under $100 ever again. No, sir. I think the lowest it went to is $150 on the market, uh, like a year after it came out. And then the whole Pokemon mar uh, market crash, 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 crash down to the floor. But now it's up, 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 up again. Going in market cycles, going Cuckoo Manui. Yes, sir. Here it is again, Umbreon VMAX. Alternate art. Yes, sir. Looking crazy, per usual. Way better than Base Ed Charizard. Way better than Neo Genesis Lugia. Ah, see. All right, guys, so there it is right there. My top five most expensive cards that I have in my collection. If you guys have it, any other cards that are crazy expensive let me know what you guys got down in the comment section below as always make sure to leave a like comment subscribe do all them things we're going up yes sir 2024 to the end yes sir team rocket joey blasting off again Shame.